Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we want to continue with local push notifications. Last time we ended up with this app here on the right side and in this video we want to extend our features so that we can show next to text messages also images in our notification and I can quickly go here over. Last time we created for example this show notification where we have a normal message and we can also replace this notification by another notification and we also can create other notifications so that we have two notifications here in our list and we also can cancel our notifications and so on. In this video we want to talk about how we can add images to our notification because only a plain text is some kind of boring and therefore we want to add a smaller image, a bigger image and so on. Therefore we go to the local notification widget which we have built in the last video. So check this last video out if you haven't watched it yet. And here we had some basic buttons for each of these functionality which we have here on the right side. And we want to add some new buttons to our features. Therefore we go here to our features and add a new button. And with this button we want simply to show a small image in our notification. And if we press on this button a method should be executed which is called show icon notification and that's what we want to build. So we go here in our local notifications helper and here we want to create this method. So I will add this method here at the top. And here inside we put some things inside. First of all the context which we need from our app. The second thing is the Flutter local notification plugin which we put here inside which we get here from our notifications plugin and we have initialized it in our init state method and then we put it here to our method. Into the method we also put an icon. So I have here an icon in our assets folder. So this is a small icon which we want to display in our notification and we also put here a text and a body inside so that we have something like, like a title and a body and here next to it a smaller image. All right, let's go back here and here you see we get all the parameters inside and then we call here notifications which is plugin which we got initialized and here we have this method to show notifications and we pass here everything inside like id, title and body and then we also need to pass some notification details inside which we want to create right now. Therefore we go here at the top and create this notification details and with this icon method we want to return some notification details which means we can specify here how this notification should be displayed on Android and also on iOS and then we pass it here into this constructor. To get here a new notification details we pass our image icon inside which we want to display in our notification. This icon has to be saved first of all to our local storage and from there we get then this icon pass which we then put into our Android notification details and then this Android notification details have our icon inside and then it knows how to display this icon. We don't have here any notification details for iOS currently because it is not supported yet so currently only Android is supported. And now we have to build this method where we save our image to the local storage. And therefore I go here and create a new file which is called utils. And here we have this method save image which gets our context and our image which we want to display in our notification. And what we literally do here is we convert our image which we get to some bytes. And these bytes we want to save in our local storage. And therefore we need this pass provider which I have also put here into our pubspec journal file. So here we have this pass provider plugin with which it is possible to save it to our local storage. And we are working here with a completer. So if our file is written to the file system, then our completer says complete and then it returns a pass where our image is stored. And then this file pass will be returned by our method if it's saved. So we go back to our local notifications helper and then import this file. And now we get here a string back, which is our icon pass. And like I said before, we pass it here to our Android notification details to display this image. All right, let's hot restart our application. And if you have hot restarted this application, 
then you will see this button here, show image in small. And if we go to the local notification widget, it's because we have put here this race button inside where we simply execute this method which we have created before and which is then saving this image to our storage and then display this image. So let's try it. Like you can see, we got here notification at the top and here you see we have here a small title and small image body and also this small icon which we wanted to display. Right now we are displaying here an image which is saved in our assets folder. However, we also can show here, for example, an image which we get from our network. So we also can pass here in some link. So we got here link and therefore we say here network. And now if we hot restart our application, let's see how it looks currently. Currently we have here this little cat. If we press here again, it will take maybe some time because it's downloading it from the internet. And therefore you got here your new icon, which is then saved locally, of course, in your file storage. So you have it available. The next thing what we want to do is we want to create another button where we can create a bigger image. So what we want to do is we want to display here also a title and a body, and then we want to display a bigger image. Therefore we go here again to our feature list in our local notification widget. And here inside we pass another button, which is called show image in big. And now we pass here also some title, body and ID inside. And we also put here some image inside, which is in this case bigger. So it's this image here, which I've stored here. And now we want to create again a new method, show image notification. And we also pass here in some context and the notification plugin, which is initialized. All right, let's create this method in our local notifications helper. So I will create it here. And it looks the same like it did before. So this is the method which we created here before and it looks almost the same. We also pass here some image inside a title and body like here and also notification plugin and so on. And also the execution looks the same. We also call here the show method and the only thing which changes is that we call here this image method which we have to create. All right, I have copied this image method inside and what we do here is we also call here save image, which is then storing our image locally and we get the path where it is stored. And then we put our picture pass into a big picture style information, which has like a lot of information which we can modify to show our image or our notification in a different way. So for example, it also supports like HTML format. So we can put our HTML text inside and also some other properties which you can see here. And we only pass here our image inside. And in our Android notification details, we put this big picture style information inside. So we have here this property style information and also style where we have to say that this is a style of big picture. And if we have done this, we can hot restart our application. And then we have here this button on the right side where we see this show image. And if we click on it, you will see that the image will load up. So it takes some time. And yeah, so we got here this image like you can see. And here you have this whole image which is also part of the notification. Let's do it again. I have canceled all notifications and now I want to show this image again. And now you see that we have here this big image directly because we have only one notification and therefore the whole format will be displayed here in our notification. So now that we have created here a button where we can create a small image and also button where we can show a bigger image, it is also possible to create a button where we can create a small plus a bigger image. So that's what we want to create next. So I go here again to the local notifications widget and now here under our button, show image in big, we want to create another button. So we go here and create here this button where we say show image in big and small. And therefore we have to create here a new method, which we will create later. And here inside we pass our title body and ID like before, our notification plugin, our context, and also two images, which we have here stored in our assets folder. So I just took the small image here and this big image. So let's go ahead and create this method, show icon and image notification. 
So we go to our local notifications helper and here we simply create this method and like you can see we got here both images as parameters and also the other information and again we simply say here notification show pass in all the normal information and again a new method where we want to get the notification details and with this we pass here our picture inside and also our icon and now we want to create this image and icon method and yeah this image and icon method is quite easy because we only have to do this image icon saving twice because we have two images right now so we save both of them to the local storage and now what we do then is we have here this big picture style information which we had also before and now we put here some more information inside here at the top we put our picture pass inside which is the bigger picture which will be displayed in our notification and after it we also put here this large icon inside which is simply this icon pass which we also saved locally and then we will put this big picture information again here inside like we did before in our style information property and then we say here in our style again that it is a big picture and again we cannot specify here any ios details so we only can specify here android specific details all right let's hot restart our application and now you see here that we have got a new button so i will clear all notifications first of all and now we press on this new button big and small and then you can see that he has loaded this notification where we have a bigger image and also a small icon which is then displayed here and of course we can go here back to our local notifications widget again and here we can again put some values inside so that it is displayed from the network so i can pass this here inside and like you can see we have said it is from image network and here again from image network we hot restart this application again and now if we click here on this button again it will take a little bit longer because it takes it from the network so we got these images from the network however it took a little bit longer so i would advise you to take images from your asset folder so it's pretty fast and you don't have to load it from the internet all right now we are finished here we have covered these three buttons so give this video a like if you enjoyed this video and also share it to other people if you know other people who also want to learn about flutter hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about flutter and see you soon bye